As mentioned in the section before, color and highlight are not good resources to emphasize text in a page, especially for blind, low vision, or colorblind students. Likewise, using only color to convey meaning becomes problematic. To align your course under this section in D6, make sure you don't rely on color alone to communicate information or concepts to your students. In this example, you will see that the first, second, and fourth items in the pie uses only color to show its weight against the whole scenario. A better way to make sure the content is clear to those with vision impairments is to include support information, such as you can see in the third quarter in the green wedge. To further improve, here we could add the percentage to each wedge together with description for each one. Clearly, a much better solution will be to use a table with headers on its columns and rows as per section D4 of the rubric. To sum it up, it is okay to use color to convey meaning, but make sure meaning is also indicated in some other way, such as by the use of tables, italics, bold, or even pictures.